When you look at the table concerning the leading drivers as far as the concession drivers are concerned for the season so far, the first seven or eight months has been dominated by the likes of Jack Callaghan, Josh Gallagher, Blake Hughes, and also my next guest, Grace Panella. However, unfortunately for Grace, her season has come to an abrupt end after a fall at Newcastle last Thursday. I caught up with Grace to explain the injuries. Well, Grace, good to catch up with you, but not under these circumstances. An unfortunate incident at Newcastle. Up until then, geez, you were having a good season. Yeah, I was having a pretty good run, you know. I was really disappointed when I got the news that I just didn't want to hear, but um, I can only go up from here, and I'm hoping my surgery comes along very quickly so I can get it over and done with. We'll go on to that shortly, Grace. 317 drives so far this season, 49 winners, 45 seconds, 44 thirds, so misconsistency. Yeah, I've been um, having a good strike rate this season. Um, 49 winners, that's what I think what hit me a little bit harder. I was just one away from 50 for the season. But, um, yeah, I've, I'm not disappointed at all, at all with my run this season. You know, I couldn't have asked for it any better. What's the extent of the injuries and how did it happen? Um, so I've torn um, my complete ACL, um, my meniscus, and it's a fracture to my lower kneecap. So um, I'll need surgery again. Um, so and I'm hoping it's six weeks from post-operation for me to get back. You will be seeing your specialist next Friday, but as far as the injuries, you did it before you hit the ground. Yeah, so when I was flipped from the card, I, my body sort of went before my leg and I felt that ultimate snap, crackle, pop and I've had that pain before and I instantly knew what it was straight away and um, when I got up from the ground, I um, didn't really feel it much because there's so much adrenaline running through my body but um, as soon as I woke up the very next morning, I knew that something's not right. And this is the second time you've done an ACL? Yeah, um, last time I did it playing backyard footy, which wasn't great circumstances either But um, and neither was this one but um, yeah, that, that ultimate um, first feeling I've known exactly what I've done. Well Grace, the combination with Clayton Harmy this season has been going great guns. Yeah, he's been a really good role model for me, you know, he's harder on me at, at the best of times, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today without him, that's for sure, but um, yeah, he's, he's brought along probably 99 out of 100 winners of mine, which is good, so um, I'm hope, hoping that continues when I'm back. And what do you like as a patient? Oh, not very good. <laughs> So asking you what you like as a sideline driver, I'd probably get the same answer. Yeah, definitely not much better, that's for sure. <laughs> Is there any horses from the Clayton Harmy stable that we should be keeping an eye on that you would like to be driving? Um, Johnson Step, he just raced, um, didn't finish very well tonight, but um, I think he's very consistent, you know, he's very on and off. Um, you just don't know which horse is going to turn up on the day, but um, I have a lot of a lot of hope for him and he's never put a, in a bad race for me, so yeah, I think he's one to watch. And Grace, how's uh, Sis going? Lauren, of course, with uh, Shane. So Team Trit, how have they been faring in the States? Yeah, she's absolutely flying over there. Um, she's just racking up winner after winner. Um, she's definitely holding the Aussie flag up very high over there. So, you know, I can only hope that it continues. And what a great success story Australian drivers have been. The likes of Andy and Todd McCarthy. We've got to include Dexter Dunn, the Kiwi. But Shane and Lauren, they've certainly been taking the States by storm. Yeah, definitely. When Lauren went over there, she didn't really want to drive as such a male-dominated sport, but, you know, she's proved them wrong and um, slowly working her way up the ranks, so we couldn't be any more prouder over there. And, you know, Shane, he's very, very smart. Um, his training is just incredible. Um, it just proved that here and then going over there, which is completely different, you know, he's already racking up winners. So, yeah, no, um, they're def I'm, they're, I'm so proud of them and um, I'm just hoping they, their role continues. And now that we don't have to worry about COVID, is there some period there where you'd like to be going over to experience racing in the States? Yeah, definitely. It's just finding the right time to go. You know, it's, it's hot over here and then really cold over there. Um, I definitely like to go for a white Christmas, but I'm not much of a winter person. So, yeah, it's just finding the time to get away and, and um, the right time to go when we don't have so many horses in work. Well, Grace, thanks for your time. As I said, hopefully next time around will be under better circumstances. So a speedy recovery. Hope it comes sooner than later. Thanks, me.